What's up, y'all? We're back again, this time doing some wiring on Dookie's Crown Majesta. Yep. Is that right? 92. Uh, so, yeah, it's a 92. It's got a newer 1JZ VVTi swap in it. And right now we're working on getting the ODB2 port hooked up so we can uh, run some diagnostics on it. Uh, the wiring for that is going to be the same for any pretty much Japanese uh, domestic market engine or car um, they run a different protocol for the odb2 port so regular scanners won't work for it so this we're actually going to use a bluetooth adapter and an android tablet and we'll get it connected and show you how to do that the bluetooth adapter and that's wireless that's off of amazon that's going to plug into our odb2 port we actually just pulled that off of a car in the junkyard, I think it was like a 2000 Toyota Corolla. So pretty much any Toyota out of the junkyard should work just fine. And we'll show you how to deep pin that because that's got a bunch of extra cables in there. And we only need four of them. Five of them actually if you want to run the um, diagnostic connector. Like a lot of these swaps you might not have the engine bay diagnostic connector. So you can actually pin it in there and uh, that'll flash your check engine light and it'll show you the diagnostic codes. So to de-pin it, there's this little connector here, the tab, I should say, that you pop up. And that lets you de-pin these bottom cables. If you had to de-pin the top one, there's one on the top as well. So once you got that popped up, there's a little plastic tab in here that corresponds with the pin you're pulling. So you want to stick it in there and flip it up. There's that one. Make sure we get the right pin here, not the wrong one. These are the wires that we need and we'll post a link to the diagram. So this corner pin here, this one's pink and black. It might be a different color depending on which car you grab the connector off of. But this pin here is gonna be your positive battery. And I guess it depends on if you want your uh, connector on or your Bluetooth adapter on all the time. Um, this car, it's probably gonna drain the battery and there's no reason to keep it on all the time. So we're actually gonna connect this one to a switched 12 volt positive. And then there's these two pins up top here, or these two cables up top here, that one and that one. And those go to ground. We just tied them together into one cable. And then this bottom one here, that is for your trouble codes, your, and that gets wired to the ECU. Um, that's the one you want to actually jump ground to. So if you like jumped it to this pin, to this pin, um, that'll cause your uh, check engine light to start flashing your trouble codes. And then this last one, this one's blue and pink. It's that pin right there. That is the one that's going to send the data from the ECU to the... Uh, Bluetooth adapter and this one they call it SIL on the ECU so I'll show you the pins on the ECU now and which wires to hook up these two. Alright so we got the wiring in the car right now so it's a little hard to show you what's going on. Essentially be de dealing with two connectors. Uh, this connector here which is a 22 pin it's called pin E and then this connector here is called uh, pin D and it's 28 pins and let's see so on this connector looking at the back side of it it's going to be this second row down from the right and it's going to be your fourth wire in so that's your SLI wire which is going to go to your SLI wire on your ODB2 port well on the D connector I'm not going to take it out it's the first row and then it's one, two, three, four, five. First row, five from the right. And then that's gonna connect to your TC 
connector on your ODB2 port. So we're gonna get that wired up and then we'll show you the app in action. All right, we got power to it. So that's a good sign. That means we wired in it, at least the power in the ground correctly. And then we'll get the tablet set up and we'll uh, show you how that works. Well, I noticed your uh, floor mats have drafts on them. Is that like your spirit animal? <laughs> They're pretty dope though. It's like, if you're about nature and wildlife, you can probably buy these off of him if you, if you wanted. We got the tablet out, Android tablet, and what you want to do is get the Torque app from the Play Store. All right. And then once you're in it, if you haven't set it up before, it's going to ask you up here to set your car profile. We've already set ours up, so we're just going to go under the settings and then vehicle profile. And then we're going to edit ours. This motor came out of a JZX-110, so we named it JZX-110. Doesn't really matter what you name it. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is kinda go through this and set some of your stuff in there. It's not really too important, but what you wanna do is down here, this is the important part, is you're gonna wanna put in that string of information. So I found two different articles. This one was like, a guy that tried it on his uh, Toyota MR2. There's another one that this guy tried it on his uh, JZX110, um, but we didn't try that one yet. But this one worked for us, so we just left it. So we'll save that. And then these signs up here is gonna kind of show what's connected. I think that's like satellite, that's like probably data or GPS, your phone. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. That one, that little flashing BT, that's your Bluetooth adapter. And then the last one that's blacked out is your car. So once they're all connected, they'll all be lit up blue. And there's a uh, custom gauges you can kind of set and change, but we're not gonna go in there because there's a bunch of different videos that show that. There you have it, it's working. Oh, you can also check uh, with this app, fault codes. And then you do a scan and it'll read all your... Uh, not connected cards and all. Yeah, car's not on right now, but it'll read all your uh, check engine codes. Appreciate Jump Garage coming over and doing all the wiring. Countless of hours in this garage doing everything and I appreciate him to the fullest. I appreciate it, man. If you guys want to see more about this car, I got to come back another time. So maybe we'll do like an overview with him about a few other little things. Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, I do. It's under uh, Dookie Style, uh, capital D, capital S. Um, I think next time what I'll do is I'll bring my camera out here too and we'll do a little part to part thing. Yeah. And we'll uh, bring both the YouTubes together for a little little video. That'll be dope. Collabs. Check out Dookie style. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.